Yo, it's your boy Black Ass Roots here, back at it again with another episode of the Real Rap Coalition podcast. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Loki Season 2, Episode 2. So let's go ahead and get into that. So it starts off with Loki and Morbius trying to track down Sylvie. They start off with looking for Hunter X5, also known as Brad Wolf in this episode, because Brad Wolf or X5 is now living as an actor on what is called the sacred timeline. He lives here trying to, you know, start a new life and and live a new life under a new identity to kind of escape away from the thought of being a hunter or a worker for the TVA. They bump into him, chase him down, uh, end up capturing him. It was a pretty cool uh, chase scene. Loki ends up using his powers. Uh, and this is the first time that we've seen Loki use his powers in this season. So it was all right. They take him in, try to question. Doesn't really work the first time. Mobius tries to, you know, kind of be a little nice. Loki tries the intimidation tactics. Mobius tries to be nice again. Doesn't really work. Before they went in, Mobius gave Loki advice on, you know, this guy's a dickhead. Don't let him get him, get under your skin. But what ended up happening is X5 gets under Mobius skin, which is causes him to jump up and slap the fire straight out of X5's face. Pow! Right in your dumbass mouth, stupid. Stop talking crazy to me. But yeah, Loki pulls Mobius to the side and, you know, tries to figure out what exactly is going on in Mobius' head, you know. Loki's never seen Mobius like this. You know, why in the world is this guy saying these few words getting so under your skin, man? Turns out that, you know, it it struck a nerve what X5 was saying with with Mobius. You know, he don't want to be thinking about what his life could have been. You know, what his life was prior to him working for the TBA. Because now the TBA is all he knows. Of course, that's only because they wiped his memory. But it's all he knows. And he don't want to be second guessing his whole life as what he knows it to be right now because he goes and visits the time before. So he like, fuck that. I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to think about that. Cool. Whatever. They come up with a plan to kind of take another run at X5. They bring in a machine. Uh, looks like a some type of torturous machine. Maybe something that just bends reality that they're just going to use on him. And it ends up working. You know, they do a little trickery with it, with uh, making it seem like Loki was acting unhinged and not a part of the same mission that Mobius is on with trying to complete this in the most humane way possible. It works. X5 ends up giving up the information where Sylvie is, which is exactly where we left her on the last episode in a separate time branch a new time branch in oklahoma at a mcdonald's but in this episode we find out that she's now working at the mcdonald's you know she just wants to live a regular life and that's what she sees this is they take x5 along with them to go and see sylvie at this mcdonald's x5 is really anxious about being here he doesn't want to be here he wants to go back to the tva wants to go back to his timeline just be anywhere but loki goes and addresses sylvie sylvie's not happy to see him at all last time they saw each other they fought she kicked him through a time door and that's just where things ended with them after she killed kane while this conversation is going on between sylvie and loki about you know the current state of things and how everyone's in danger because kane the conqueror may have been right and or telling the truth in what he was saying in the midst of this mobius and x5 are having a conversation where x5 ends up spilling the beans on why he really doesn't want to be there turns out general docs the woman that we saw at the meeting about the extra time branches in the last episode is planning on taking out and you know manually pruning the extra time branches herself they send x5 back to where b15 is at the tba and 
they're set out to go and stop Docs before she completes her plan to take out all these other time. They run down on General Docs and it's a okay fight scene, I guess. I think this is just part of the building up. You know, I think they're just building everything up. You know, the action's not gonna be too, too crazy at the beginning of the season. Hopefully, I'm hoping that they don't stay at this level because this is not what I'm expecting from uh, MCU level show movie whatever it is this is not this was not on the same level as what i known this show to be up to this point but they do their best doc's plan to prune these timelines ends up pretty much working you know she ends up taking out what she needs to in order to get things back somewhat stable they end up going back to the tva sylvie follows They arrest General Docs and all of the other hunters that they could gather that were also assisting with this uh, crime to the TVA. Sylvie's extremely disappointed in what Loki is a part of. You know, this is still a part of the TVA, you know, and and she feels that it's crooked, in which it is. You know, these are our lives that are being taken away just like they were, just like Sylvie was. And it's just that she feels that it's not right. B15 feels like like it's not right. However, Sylvie is just, she's not with it. She just thinks the whole thing needs to be destroyed. The TBA needs to just cease to exist. And that's pretty much where they end it. Everybody kind of has a sad face and that's pretty much where it ends at. I feel like this was more of a informative episode with very mild action which i'm cool with that being the second episode but things gonna have to start picking up am i entertained so far yes but i am expecting more and i'm gonna go ahead and go watch the next episode and i'm gonna be back with another recap for that episode y'all make sure y'all tune in please like comment and subscribe please like comment and subscribe we really really appreciate that Thank you very much for y'all's support. And we will be back again with another recap, another episode of the Real Rap Coalition podcast. Thank you very much. Peace out.